Hello, I'm James Hortop from Merlin Equipment. I'm here to speak to you today about our range of DC to AC power inverters. Merlin Equipment was the first company 30 years ago to start selling inverters within the UK. We've been there, we've done it, we've got the t-shirt when it comes to the various different qualities that are available out there, the features that work and the features that don't. The product range that we've majored on over the course of the last 10 years is our range of Kisei power inverters. Now the Kisei product is built out in the Far East, however we have our own engineers embedded within the factory to ensure that quality is met at all times. We've supplied inverters for use on board people's boats, uh, most work vans, ambulances, fire engines, police cars, surveillance vehicles, you name it. In many places you will go you will see one of our inverters on board those vehicles. This is the range of our standalone inverters. We start at 400 watts all the way up to a 3000 watt inverter. Very importantly, all of our inverters produce a pure sine wave. A pure sine wave of power is exactly the same as what you get out of the normal socket at home. And if you follow the red line on here, it's a smooth curve of power, basically of the AC voltage varying between plus 230 volts and minus 230 volts. Because it's pure sine wave, it will not have any compatibility issues with any appliance that you plug into the inverter, but more importantly, is electrically, they're not noisy. So it means that you can plug a stereo system directly into the inverter, a piece of audio visual equipment, or a computer with no worries whatsoever. Other inverters on the market often produce, especially the cheaper ones, will produce a square wave, which is denoted by the green line, or a modified sine wave, which is the blue line, where it steps up and steps down. Now, where the um, output voltage of those types of inverters is outside of that red line, these will cause a electrical noise on any appliance that you're trying to operate, but also it can cause overheating problems in anything that's got a motor. So going back to what I was saying with a pure sine wave inverter, you don't have those compatibility issues. So looking at the front of the inverters, you'll notice all of the inverters that we have have got a small panel on the front with various different features. The four and the 600 watt unit both have a remote control tab which can go to the ignition switch on a vehicle so that it will only become live or the, the inverter will only fire up when the actual ignition is on the vehicle if it's connected. You can plug in a remote panel. They've got a small USB socket on there for charging up things like your phone or uh, your tablet if you want to. And then you can switch the unit on and off just using the switch on the front of the unit. Getting to the larger product, the 1000 watt unit, I switch the unit on has a display on the front which will show you the battery voltage. It will show you how much power you're pulling from the inverter. It's got a small USB output. In the event of there being one of the multiple protection features being activated on the unit, it will give you an alarm code so that you can look in the manual and see what that alarm code means. The remote panel for the unit, there's a small remote switch available, which is just here, which allows you to switch the unit on and off remotely. The 3000 watt unit is slightly different. It's actually got an, an automatic changeover switch built into the front of it. Um, the reason it's got that is that if you've got a vehicle that's say got a mains input, like a refrigeration vehicle, when that plug is pulled on the shore power, the inverter will automatically switch over and take over the power. So it's got a bit of a UPS mode. And what I really like about the 3000 watt unit is the panel that the unit is supplied with can be just simply remotely operated or remotely mounted. All of our inverters have the same protection features. Firstly, they are overload protected, so if you plug in something that's too large, it will simply shut itself down. Um, you remove the load, turn the inverter back on again, and it will work. So overload, overheat, short circuit protected. In the event of the battery voltage going down below 10.8 volts on a 12 volt system, the unit will automatically shut down and protect the battery. All of our inverters are pure sine wave. Very importantly for the vehicle market, they're all e-marked as well, so they are legal and safe for use on vehicles. So within our KISSA inverter range, we start with a 400 watt inverter. This unit will produce up to 400 watts continuously. With our ratings, we don't rate our inverters with a mysterious 30 minute rating, which is often governed by heat. All of our ratings are a continuous rating at 25 degrees, and there's a very, very good reason we do that. It's because if you're an engineer and you're specifying this equipment for use on board a vehicle, you need a good benchmark to work from. So when I say our inverter is 400 watts, that's 400 watts continuously all day, every day, at normal 25 degree temperature. So a 400 watt inverter is ideal for doing things like running small power tools, uh, for recharging tools, computers, running a small printer, that type of equipment. Up from that, we've got our 600 watt unit, which is this unit here, 1,000, 2,000, and 3,000 watts. 
The inverters are good for doing two things. They're good for running light loads for very long periods of time. So things like power tool chargers or a notebook computer. They're good for running heavy loads for short periods of time. So a hairdryer, a microwave, a kettle, those sort of things. What an inverter isn't very good at doing is running heavy loads for long periods of time. And a good rule of thumb is that a heavy load is something that produces heat. So forget trying to heat water with a water heater or forget trying to you know, heat your vehicle or your boat with a fan heater because all you're going to do is discharge your batteries very, very quickly indeed. The other thing is with an inverter that's very, very important is that they're located as close as possible to the batteries because a voltage drop from the battery up to the inverter. And you do need to use some fairly heavy duty cable, which we can help you with. So by way of demonstration, one of our most popular units for work vans is either a 1,000 or a 2,000 watt inverter. They're very good at handling high surges and inductive loads. Um, in this case, I've got an angle grinder rated at 750 watts, requires about 1200 watts to actually get it going. So we can plug the unit in and... Uh, If you zoom in on the front panel, you'll actually see how much power is being pulled. So if I start the, uh, the grinder up. It's showing how much power is actually being pulled down from the batteries in kilowatts. Installation of the inverter is very straightforward. You've simply got a positive and negative on the back of the uh, inverter. I do recommend that you have a separate battery bank on board for auxiliary use um, and the inverter is operated from that. Some of our customers like to run them from an engine battery. That is possible but definitely take the ignition remote control into account for that so that the inverter will only operate when the engine is running. But installation wise if we swing around to the back of the inverters you'll see that the connection hardware is very high quality. It's simply a positive and negative down to the batteries. There's some automatic thermostatic fans on the back of the units which will keep the units cool and only come on when the units are working very hard. All of our inverters come with a two-year warranty. We're based here in Exeter. If you'd like to come down and see these demonstrated personally, you're very welcome to come and see us. Or, in the case of many of our customers, they will actually bring the equipment they want to operate. Quite often, in the case of things like ice cream vans, and where they've got very large compressors on board, they'll actually be able to plug in um, and see their piece of equipment operating before they purchase the inverter to make sure the inverter is absolutely right for them. So give us a call on 01202 697979 and speak to myself or any one of my, my colleagues directly. We'll be very happy to help you. Alternatively, all our product information is available on www.merlinequipment.com. Thank you.